you've got an llm it's smart but it's not smart enough for your problem so you've got two choices fine tuning or rag pick the wrong one and you could waste thousands of dollars months of engineering time and still get mediocre results pick the right one and you build something that actually works today we're breaking down exactly when to use each and why the answer isn't what most people think why this matters whether you're building a legal research tool a customer support chatbot or an internal knowledge system this decision fundamentally changes your architecture costs and maintenance burden and honestly most people get it wrong on their first try so let's fix that by the end of this video you'll know exactly which approach fits your use case and why the core difference what is fine tuning imagine you hire a software engineer they're generally skilled they can code in python understand databases write tests but they've never worked in your domain fine tuning is like onboarding that engineer specifically to your company you spend weeks training them on your code base your standards your unique problems now they're not just competent they're an expert in your specific work that's exactly what fine tuning does to an llm you take a pre-trained model like gpt 3.5 or mistral and train it on a smaller specialized dataset the model's internal weights get adjusted so it understands your domain deeply key insight the knowledge gets embedded into the model itself it becomes part of the neural network what is rag now picture a different scenario instead of training your engineer for weeks you give them something else a massive reference library when someone asks them a question they don't rely on memory they grab the most relevant books articles and documents from the library read them and then provide an answer based on that fresh information that's rag retrieval augmented generation instead of training the model you're giving it access to a knowledge base when it needs to answer a question it first retrieves the relevant information then generates a response based on that retrieved data key insight the knowledge stays external to the model the model is just really good at finding and summarizing relevant information the mental model here is a quick comparison between fine tuning and rag the real costs fine tuning costs has what everyone undersells about fine tuning it's expensive not just in compute time in everything gpu hardware costs a single nvidia a 100 gpu about $17000 if you're doing serious fine tuning you might need multiple an h100 over $30000 and yeah you might need that for larger models rental pricing 50 cents to 2 dollar per gpu are for cloud providers a single training run can take days that's easily $1000 to dollar 5000 plus per experiment memory requirements the rule of thumb is roughly 16 gigabytes of varam per billion parameters a 7 billion parameter model you're looking at over 100 gigabytes if you try traditional fine tuning that's why people use lora and clora parameter efficient techniques that cut the varam requirement to 12 to 24 gigabytes but even with these optimizations you're still training for hours or days labor and infrastructure you need engineers to set up the training pipeline monitor it handle data preprocessing that's not trivial even a small team burns to 2 4 weeks on a proper fine tuning project data costs and here's the kicker fine tuning requires high quality labeled training data lots of it collecting and labeling that data is expensive total estimate for a small company If you're fine tuning a 7B model with a modest data set, expect to spend $2000 to dollar $10000 plus in infrastructure and labor for a single training cycle. Rag costs. Rag way simpler. Most of the cost is in infrastructure setup, not training. Vector database. You need somewhere to store your documents in an optimized format. Options like Pinecone, VV8 or even open source milvus run 
you $100 to $500 per month for most use cases. Self-hosted, you can run Qdrant or VV8 on a $20 per month server. Ingestion Pipeline You need a system to take your documents, chunk them, embed them into vectors and store them. This is one-time setup, maybe a few days of engineering work. Ongoing Maintenance Update your documents, just add new ones to the database. No retraining, no GPUs, no hassle. Total estimate, $200 to $1,000 to set up. $100 to $500 per month to run. One-tenth the cost of fine-tuning. Now, here's the trade-off. Fine-tuning gives you a very efficient inference machine that doesn't need to query a database for every request. RAG requires external lookups, which adds latency and cost. But the upfront and ongoing maintenance costs of RAG are drastically lower. Let's a deep dive into the difference between LLM Fine tuning and LLM and RAG. A typical LLM goes through something called as full pretraining. The data size is very huge. Since the data size is huge, training is very costly. It is resource intensive and takes a lot of time. Input and output pattern is pretty simple. User query is processed by the model using its pre trained knowledge and a response is generated for the user. Let's compare this to fine-tuning now. In fine-tuning, you already have a reference model. In the fine-tuning step, we add more knowledge on top of the pre-trained knowledge of LLM by tweaking the adapters around the LLM. The fine-tuning data is typically smaller in size than full pre-training data and we use algorithms like PEFT, Parameter Efficient Fine-Tuning and frameworks like LoRa for fine-tuning. Even though the data is smaller in comparison to full pre-training, fine-tuning is still a costly process. It needs good amount and size of resources and time. After fine-tuning, notice the additional layer we got on top of the LLM. Now this new fine-tuned LLM with a new adapter layer of fine-tuning knowledge is the model you can ship as a single entity. Input and output pattern still remains the same as that of an LLM as we are still interacting with one entity. User sends the input to our fine-tuned LLM and it is processed by the fine-tuned model to generate a response. Recently, I have made a detailed video on fine-tuning with a demo where we fine-tuned Tiny Llama model. If you have missed that video, I will be sharing that link in the description. Do check that out as well for a deep dive into fine-tuning. Now, let's compare fine-tuning with RAG. Retrieval Augmented Generation Fundamentally, both fine-tuning and RAG are trying to add more knowledge on top of the model's pre-training knowledge. While fine-fine-tuning does that at the build time, basically when you're building your model. RAG does that at the runtime. We can divide the process of the architecture of RAG into two steps, data preparation and data retrieval. Before you can provide additional context, or information at the runtime to the model, we need to prepare and convert the external knowledge into consumable chunks or vectors and store in a vector database typically. At the runtime, when we are processing user query, we find out the relevant and matching knowledge in the vector database and augment that to the user query as a context. LLM then gets a better understanding of your query as it is complemented by the external knowledge. You get better results and since the part of the knowledge that helped in generating the answer is known here, it can be used for citations. This is the beauty of RAG. I have made a few dedicated videos on RAG with live demos in the past. Links to those videos I will be attaching in the description. I recommend watching them as well for a deep dive into RAG. Real world use cases. When fine tuning makes sense. Domain specific tone and style. Imagine you're building a system to draft legal contracts. This isn't just about knowing legal language. It's about sounding like a lawyer. The phrasing matters. The structure matters. The specific way you reference clauses matters. Fine-tuning is perfect here. You train the model on hundreds of your company's previous contracts and it learns not just the content but the exact writing style that your firm uses. A RAG system? It might pull in relevant clauses 
but it won't necessarily sound like your lawyers. You'd need heavy prompt engineering to fix that. Static, repetitive tasks. Your company gets the same 100 types of customer support questions and they rarely change. You've collected thousands of examples of good responses. Fine-tune a model on this data. Now it answers those questions instantly, consistently, and with your company's exact tone. No database lookups. Just instant, high-quality responses. This is brilliant for high-traffic scenarios where you need speed and consistency. Proprietary knowledge that's core to your business. You've built a unique methodology, a proprietary framework that's core to your business. It's not something you want baked into external documents that might get copied. You want it as a black box inside your model. Fine-tuning lets you encode this knowledge directly into the model's weights. Now your competitive advantage is embedded in the neural network itself. Let us see when and why you should use RAG. Rapidly changing information. You're building a financial research assistant. New market data comes in every second. New regulations drop constantly. New earnings reports arrive daily. Fine-tuning is useless here. By the time you finish training on today's data, it's already outdated. RAG is perfect. New information goes into the database immediately. Your model always has access to the latest market data, regulations, and research without retraining. Customer support with evolving products. Your product updates constantly. New features drop every sprint. Documentation changes weekly. Your team writes new FAQ articles regularly. If you fine-tune every time your product changes, you're retraining every sprint. That's insane. RAG? Just update the documentation and knowledge base. The system automatically uses the new information on the next query. Multi-domain knowledge. You need your system to answer questions across healthcare, legal, finance, and technology. These are completely different domains with different terminology, different reasoning patterns, different regulations. Fine-tuning would require either one mega model trained on all domains, which often performs worse than specialized models, multiple fine-tuned models, which requires maintaining multiple copies, multiple versions, multiple deployments. Nightmare. RAG. Plug-in documents from all domains. A single model plus single retrieval system handles everything. You can even use different RAG systems for different domains if you want. Let me give you a decision framework to think through this. Does your knowledge base change frequently? Yes, choose RAG. No, choose fine-tuning. Do you need consistent tone style behavior? Yes, choose fine-tuning. No, choose RAG. How important is source transparency? Very important, choose RAG. Not important, choose fine-tuning. What's your budget? Limited budget, choose RAG. Substantial budget, you can choose either. Do you need inference speed? Yes, choose fine-tuning. Some latency is acceptable, choose RAG. Do you have privacy constraints? Very strict, choose fine-tuning. Normal constraints, choose RAG. Hybrid approach. Here's a pro tip that most people don't think about. You can combine them. Fine-tune a model on your core domain knowledge, your style, your tone. Then add RAG on top for dynamic, frequently changing information. Example, a legal tech company fine-tunes a model on their internal guidelines and writing style then uses RAG to pull in the latest case law and statutes. Best of both worlds. Another example, a customer support system where you fine-tune on your product's architecture and common issues, but RAG pulls in the latest documentation and recent customer conversations. This hybrid approach is increasingly popular because it gives you both the precision of fine-tuning and the flexibility of RAG. Let's talk about hallucinations. Fine-tuning doesn't eliminate them, it just changes the kind of hallucinations. A fine-tuned model might confidently state incorrect information because it's confident in its training data. 
a RAG system might hallucinate when it can't find relevant documents or when retrieved documents are contradictory. The truth, both approaches require careful testing and monitoring. Neither is a magic bullet. RAG has a slight edge because at least you can see what source documents it used and verify if they're wrong. Fine-tuning is a black box. If you're building an AI system right now and struggling with this decision, think through the decision framework we covered. Ask yourself those six questions. The answer will be obvious once you do. And if you've already built something and regret your choice, it's not too late. Migration is harder than the initial choice, but it's doable. This is exactly the kind of architectural decision that separates projects that scale from projects that fail. Get it right and your system can grow indefinitely. Get it wrong and you're rebuilding in six months. If this helped you, subscribe for more deep dives into AI architecture and drop a comment. What problem are you solving? Fine-tuning or RAG? Let me know in the comments. I read every single one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.